So before this video starts, I want to preface that this is going to be a very controversial topic to talk about. And for preface, not for preface, but to my parents, if you watch this video, mom, don't watch this video. Do not watch further ahead. You're going to be very disappointed. Dad, if you're watching this video, do not watch further ahead. You're going to be very disappointed, especially you. So this video is going to be talking on the, the topic of God. And before I get to my my standpoint on how I see God, I want to say for some context that I grew up in a Catholic school. I'm not Catholic, I'm Episcopalian. But from ages 5 to 12, I went to a Catholic school. And I still go to church every single Sunday, you know. As long as I'm living with my parents, I will be going to church every single Sunday. I basically don't really have a choice. But, you know, I'm used to it. I've been going to church every single Sunday since I can remember. And I don't really have a problem with it, honestly. So I just want to preface that. So I've been really struggling to find faith in God. And, and you, know, you know, I'm young. I'm still 18 years old. My brain isn't still fully developed, but... I've been feeling like a disconnect from God since like the age of 15 and I've been stuck in this phase of like questioning God's existence you know and when I sit in church I just sit there because I go to my church is a Haitian church right and it's in our native tongue which is Creole and English is my first language I can understand Creole no, actually, I'm wrong. Our church, so Haitians, we speak Creole, right? English is my native language. I can understand Creole, but I can't really speak it that well. So, but for my church and our service, most of the service is in French, which I really dislike because for some Haitian background, France ruled over Haiti in slavery and we revolted and we got our own freedom in 1804. So my belief is that why do we speak, why do we still continue to press French on our Haitian community? When my mother was growing up in Haiti, she was forced to speak French in school or she would get beat. And I disagree with that notion because you got rid of the French rule for a reason. Why are you still implementing their language and their sovereignty upon your youth and the younger generation, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make much sense to me. You're still slaves, in a sense. But that's not what this video is about. So, I just sit in church in a language that I don't understand. And I look, because there's like a, a crucifix of Jesus in our church. And I find myself just staring at that crucifix. And I'm like, bro, I don't feel a connection to you anymore. And the, the, the seeds of doubt and, and asking questions and doubting my faith was really planted when I was nine years old in the fourth grade. So when I was in the fourth grade, as I explained earlier, from ages five to 12, I went to a Catholic school. So in fourth grade, I was nine years old, but I was still in the Catholic school. And we, t we had a religion class and we had a nun and obviously the nun was catholic and one of the things that i will never forget and it stays in my head and it will probably stay in my head until the day i die and that was where the very first seed of, of doubt was planted in my head i remember she said that only catholics can go to heaven and that fucked with me from a very young age because it didn't make much sense to me you know, it just it doesn't make much sense to me. It doesn't really make much sense to me, but I've been struggling to find faith in God. And I would say that I'm a, I, I try and be a spiritual person, but honestly, since like January, I've been neglecting the spiritual side of me. You know, I still meditate and all that, but... I don't really focus on this on the spirituality side of me anymore like that. You know, and um 
I feel like that's what's missing in my life and I don't feel a connection to God at least at this current moment I don't feel a connection to the to the Christian God at least because last year when I had my spiritual awakening and I looked more into Eastern philosophies I looked more into the chakras I looked more into the 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 way that Buddhists live you know I really started to disagree with the with the beliefs of Christianity maybe not the beliefs but the way that Christianity was used on my people and who are my people I would say on black people because in the 1400s I could be completely wrong but this is what I know I'm kind of just like guessing here but you know in the 1400s back in the days of Christopher Columbus Ponce de Leon you know the conquistadors and the explorers that came from Spain and Europe these European white men who had Christianity came to Africa and forced us forced the Africans on their boats and forced them to change their religion and you know treated them like fucking animals treated them like shit on these slave ships and treated them like like beasts like they were less you know and they used the bible to justify it and like as i said i could be completely wrong but this is just my thinking at this moment and there's very corrupt things with christianity for example you have these rich and famous televangelists that doesn't sit well with me because even in the bible itself it says that people who preach the word of god are not supposed to be rich jesus was not a rich man jesus was fucking poor but you have these televangelists stealing money stealing money from 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 their from their supporters and their members of the church because these members of the church are being promised a a false reality that if they support this 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 preacher this televangelist they'll be promised heaven and that's another thing i don't agree with the christianity christianity on the notion of hell and heaven that when we die that we will get eternal heaven or eternal hell you know and as I was raised in of course a Catholic school early in my life I was taught that for the most part mostly or only Saints go to heaven like people literally Saints like bro I don't even I can't even Saint uh, Francis of Assisi um, that's really the only thing I can remember honestly Francis of Assisi and it's like all this all the saints that were that we've had i believe like the last saint that i know of the last catholic saint is saint pope john paul but i don't even know if pope john paul was is, is a saint i think he's blessed you know there's there's fucking tears to becoming a saint i guess or whatever and it's like why have there been no more saints does that mean that martin luther king is in fucking hell does that mean that Malcolm X is in hell? Does that mean Nelson Mandela is in hell? Does that mean Gandhi is in hell? Because they weren't saints? Because they weren't Catholic? Because this was this is what I was taught. At nine years old, I was taught that only Catholic people can go to heaven. And I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit. Because I feel like, at least the Catholic school I went to, the nuns there, or at least maybe that, that nun, only that nun specifically, had the belief that Catholic Catholicism is a superior religion when there is no superior religion. At the end of the day, when it comes to religion, we don't have the answers. All religion is, every religion is, is us trying to figure out how to be better people, how to live a life of, of humility, how to live a life filled with purity so we can be promised afterlife but at the end of the day we truly don't even know whether the afterlife exists we don't know if heaven is real we don't know if hell is real and it is of my belief that we are the creators of our own heaven and hell right all heaven and hell is in my opinion it's a mind state you can create your heaven on this earth you can create your hell on this earth i'm living I don't want to say I'm living well no as of this moment as of my short 18 years of life 
as of right now, I am living the best life I have ever lived. I am in my heaven. Now, obviously, as I mature and I get older, my life will continue to be better, right? But my life is pretty fucking good. I, I have no complaints with my life. You know, I, I'm obviously, I could be better. You know, I could have a girlfriend, but that's not the point of this video. I'm living in heaven right now. I have nothing to complain for. But it's just my belief is that if you can have faith in the unseen, if you can have faith in in God, in Jesus, and this also applies to other religions as well, if you can have faith in Allah, if you can have faith in Muhammad, if you can have faith in Buddha, then you can apply that same type of faith in yourself, you know, because to a certain extent, when I say that you are the creator of your own reality, I'm the creator of my own reality, we are the creators of our own reality, I say that in a sense that we have the power to make change in our lives. Nothing is predetermined. It is in my belief that we have free will. Right? The Bible, which another notion I disagree with with the Bible, is that the Bible says that we have free will. God says that we have free will. But God knows everything that we're going to do before we do it. So that means that as I'm speaking right now, God knows every single word I'm going to say before I say it. So with that meaning, how can we have free will? Free will doesn't truly exist if God knows everything we're going to do. So you don't give us free will, actually. But God gives us free will. He knows everything we're going to do before we do it. Yet he punishes us for our sins. If you know everything we're going to do, before we do it, if you know when we're gonna make mistakes, if you know when we're gonna fuck up, wouldn't you say, wouldn't you intervene? Wouldn't you intervene? If you knew everything that was going to happen, why the fuck did you let my people be slaves for 400 years, bro? If you knew everything that was gonna happen, why the fuck did you let the Holocaust happen, bro? You know, I remember one time I was journaling, I had the crazy thought. I was like, bro, to be completely honest, I was just like, I hate Christianity. You know, I've, I've like, I don't hate Christianity. I don't hate any religion, but it's hard for me to call myself a Christian, bro. I, it's, I don't like identifying with that label, bro, even though I go to church even every Sunday. I don't like identifying with that label, man. And I said, one, like one time I had thought of journaling, I was like, so in the Bible, right, the Jews persecuted God. I mean, not God. The Jews persecuted Jesus. So I was like, bro, what if as revenge, God let the Holocaust happen purposely? Because six million Jews were killed. Now, obviously, I know that it wasn't only Jews that were killed. It was um, gypsies, homosexuals, you know. It wasn't just Jews that were killed, but Jewish people were the biggest majority of people that were killed. And I was just like thinking, bro, what if God let that happen because he didn't fuck with Jewish people? Because Jewish people killed his son. You know, and the Bible just, in general, it has a lot of misconceptions because at the end of the day, the Bible was written by humans, bro. By human beings. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago, that shit has been translated so many times. It's been edited so many times. That's why there's there's things that say this in the Bible, and then later on in the Bible, it contradicts that statement because it was made by imperfect beings at the end of the day. Right? And even stories in the Bible in the Old Testament, God killed his own people. You know, I believe, it, I could be wrong. I keep repeating this because I could be wrong. You know, like, I'm not perfect. I don't have, I'm not saying, I'm not making this video to say that I have all the answers because I truly don't have all the answers. But I, I've been so scared to make this video in fear of being judged, especially by my parents. But I feel like I need to make this video for my own sake. Just so you can know how I feel on this topic. And I know this is a very controversial topic, but it's a, hold on. But I know there's a story in the Bible where Noah, 
I don't remember if Noah was a prophet, but Noah, not Noah, fuck, I'm, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping, not Noah, I apologize. Moses, Moses, when he was leading his people in the desert for 40 years, you know, when he went to the mountain to get the commandments while he was at the mountain, his people, or I believe a tribe of his people were, they made a golden bull to, as a, as a rep representation of God. And God don't like idolatry. He doesn't like you worshiping statues and shit and things of that nature. So, like I said, if God knows everything you're going to do before you do it, he would have known that they would have done it. And he would have known that these people made that in the image of God. They did that to worship God and it was made out of gold. So God got angry. This all omnipotent, omnipowerful, all loving God got angry at his own people for making a statue for him that they wanted to worship in the name of him if i'm not mistaken as i keep continue to say i could be wrong but this is what i know of so he got mad at his own people and he told moses that he wanted this tribe to be killed and guess what this tribe was killed he ordered his own people to be killed because of mistakes that they made is that an all loving man Another notion of God, why does God have to have a gender? My my belief with religion is like like religion like really causes a lot of division, man. Especially Christianity, Catholicism, like look at the Spanish Inquisition, bro. Maybe it could not be maybe it's not religion itself, but fucking sick and twisted humans that took religion and manipulated it to to to, to cause harm on people, to cause damage on people. You know, like, look at the Spanish Inquisition. So many people, the Moors were killed because they were, they either were forced to convert into Catholicism or they were tortured and murdered. I don't remember or I don't know how many people were killed during the Spanish Inquisition. But if I'm not mistaken, the number is in the thousands, bro. Is in the thousands. So, I've been having this gripe with Christianity. And... I'm going to show you something. At one point in my senior year, I was writing a book. I, I had the, the, the drive to write a book. Right? Of, of trying to find the God from within. Because as I mentioned earlier, I do believe... Well, I don't know if I mentioned this, but when I say that we are the creator of our realities, that we are gods in a sense because we have the power to make change in our life. It's Your life is not predetermined, right? So I had the the drive to, to write a book and I literally had the title. I had the, the, I had the visualization of me being a New York Times bestseller. I had the purpose to influence people, to cause people to challenge their beliefs and unite people like you can see it right here i had you see the title right here finding the god from within the hidden power that lies inside of you and i had sections of the book i had like bro look at this all by hand all by hand i don't know hold on fuck you can't see, really see it but all by hand all of this I explained, I explained how, like I said, you are God. I explained how religion causes division. I explained my spiritual journey. I explained what is God exactly. I explained trying to hide how to find your hidden power from within. And I just got stuck at a point because I feel like I haven't garnered enough knowledge to be able to, to fully express myself in this book, you know? But I, I dedicated... I dedicated my, my focus and one of my goals to this on writing a book on really trying to find the answer and trying to find the God from within. Because if you can have faith in outside sources and God, you can find that faith from within. So that's my belief. And at the end of the day, I don't want to completely shit on religion because bringing it back to self-improvement, <coughs> excuse me. Self-improvement really gets a lot of its notions from, 
from religion, you know, delaying gratification. Religion teaches you about delaying gratification and living a life void of sin so you can have eternal pleasure in heaven. You know, the religion teaches you humility, be kind to people, treat others with respect, the golden rule, rule, treat others as you want to be treated. And I respect the good things about religion, you know, being humble, you know, but like I said, it may not be religion itself. It's how religion is used as poison to divide us. How many people have been killed because of their religion? How many people have, have, have killed in the name of God? How many people have killed in the name of God? That's fucking disgusting, bro. That's disgusting. How many people have been, have been martyred because of their religion? Countless. Countless of people in the name of their God. So, my mind state right now is I've lost, or not, maybe not lost, but there, 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 there could be some higher power out there. There might be a God, but at the end of the day, no matter what you believe, no matter how much you try and force feed it down people's throats, because religion, you were indoctrinated into religion. You weren't given a choice, most likely. You were not, I was not given a choice. From the day I was born, I was forced to believe in God. So I wasn't given a choice. It was in, I was indoctrinated. Where most of us, 90% of the world has been indoctrinated into religion. Whether it's Christianity, whether it's Islam, whether it's Buddhism, Hinduism, whatever you can think of, you are most likely indoctrinated into whatever religion that you subscribe to. But at the end of the day, what I want to do with this channel, what I want to do with my music, I want to spread love. Why don't we just love each other? Love each other and love ourselves spread more positivity and kindness and peace throughout the throughout the world man and i know that we're not perfect i know that i'm not perfect you know i do negative things i i don't like to talk shit about people i really do not like to talk shit about people because talking shit about people is just a reflection of how you see yourself at the end of the day so just showing love man and just following the the basic principality of the law of attraction of you are what you attract and karma just making sure that you know when you do bad things bad things are eventually going to happen to you when you do good things good things are going to happen to you so just trying to stay positive and spreading love and trying to do more good than bad even though you know there will be moments where you do bad because we're not perfect right but tr making an attempt to be more positive in the world honestly and that's what i want this channel to be about that's what i want my music to do and i know like in my songs and songs i write you know i rap about negativity i rap about you know shooting guns killing killing people fucking bitches all of that but i that's something that assists me it's like I don't want to rap about guns anymore, but maybe I probably will because to be completely honest, it's very easy to rap about guns. It's fun to rap about guns. I don't got no guns. In Pagayazam, I don't have nothing. I never shot a gun in my life up to this point, and I don't plan on shooting a gun in my life, honestly, but I probably will just to learn. But I want my music to be remembered for a positive impact that it can leave on people. You know, I'm not saying every song has to be conscious and lyrical. If it gets, it could be just be turn up music. You feel me? If it's making you feel good, if it's impacting your life in some positive way, then I feel like I have done my job. But I don't want to be one of these rappers who's misusing their influence to to destroy their communities. You know, because an example is like I'm going so off topic, but whatever. This is unfiltered. An example is like Lil Durk. Lil Durk is the biggest rapper, one of the biggest rappers right now. And he's being seen as a bad influence because of the negativity that he breathes in his music. And I don't want to say Lil Durk is responsible for, for the negativity that other people are causing. But at the same time, it's up to rappers. It's up to 
it's up to rappers to realize that they have influence. You know, future influence, future's influence, and his and his glorification of drugs influenced Juice World to do drugs because he said he thought Future was cool for that. You know, is Future wrong for that? I don't know, but you gotta understand as a rapper, you have influence, and I want it to be my duty and my job to minimize the negative impact that my music can have and maximize the positive impact that my music can have. Even if I'm rapping about bullshit topics, even if I'm rapping about, you know, shooting guns, I really, really do not want my music to be blamed for violence in the community when I do blow up. That is the exact opposite of what I want. I want my music, I want my videos to be able to influence millions across the world, you know. But I want uh, authentic. But at the end of the day, just spread love spread love and i didn't make this video to tell you that you should stop believing in whatever religion you subscribe to i just really needed to make this video because i was so scared of making this video for so long but this topic has been on my mind and now that i've recorded this video it feels like a burden has been lifted off my shoulders so if you've gotten this far um Tell me where I could be wrong. As I said, you know, this could just be a phase of me doubting the existence of God and at least Christianity. Maybe I'll find God. Maybe I'll feel a connection to, to God and Jesus and Christ later in life. But as of this very moment, I don't feel it, man. I don't feel it. And that's so fucking crazy. I feel like a hypocrite saying that because I still go to church every Sunday. The universe I'm going to I said the university. The university that I will be attending is a Catholic university. So that's more God being placed on me. So I don't know, bro. I don't know. Am I, am I a hypocrite for having these types of beliefs, even though I still go to church every Sunday? I don't know, but this is just how I feel. Remember, I could be wrong. So just I don't want to be attacked. Please just let's have a conversation. At the end of the day, I didn't make this video to offend anybody. This is just my thoughts, my pure thoughts on on religion and God. So, yeah, that's why I made this video.